All right, so we're on our way to Too Many Games. Everyone in the car. What is this mysterious box? And what are these weird looking things inside? Thank you everyone for coming out to Too Many Games 2012 and attending the Dark Side Phil panel. The panel's only about me. Um, to give you a little rundown of the agenda, what we're going to be doing in this panel, uh, we're going to start, I'm going to do a summary of exactly who I am, a little introduction, a lot of you I'm sure know who I am. I'm Dark Side Phil, Phil Burnell. Unfortunately, I was diagnosed with a pretty serious back injury, a uh, severely herniated disc in my lower back. It made it very hard for me to do some of the other things that I like to do, like play sports, like lift heavy objects, being in a car for a long period of time, and I can't do that anymore. I mean, just the limitations of my back. Um, to my left is my lovely girlfriend, Panda Lee. Even though it's only 40 seconds, it's 40 seconds of greatness. It was a little bit first sight. <laughs> the rest. <laughs> to my right are my cohorts in crime. Not my friend. And OJ. They're also co-stars in Project 7, which is my ongoing uh, web series, gaming and... Sorry, I gotta take this. Um, I'll be back. <laughs> OJ. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so anyway, so my name is Phil Burnell, and I've been a gamer my whole life. I was really big into gaming during the SNES and Genesis days, and actually in the, the 90s, I actually became so infatuated with Street Fighter that I actually became a competitive Street Fighter player. Actually in 2007, winning several of the Evolution Tournament Series qualifier events for Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And then in 2007, after that run that I had, not my friend, was there with me, you know, every step of the way. We must have went to like literally like 10 tournaments that year. I didn't, I didn't win, and I, I kind of looked at my life and I said, you know, is this really what I want to do? Is this really what I want to be my hobby for the rest of my life? And so what we're going to do is we are going to show you the trailer for the next episode in this panel. But before we do that, all right, friends, my name is John. I'm the person to blame. <laughs> That's okay. We'll see it today. All the way from Stanford, Connecticut. One of the greatest heroes in the world is here himself. Ladies and gentlemen, Hole Punch is here. <laughs> Hole Punch. Hole Punch, you'll see some words. This is a special video. I wanted to shake your hand. So I wanted to um, take this opportunity to invite everybody to, you know, not be evil. Um, evil has done a lot of horrible things, and I've got this little presentation here. Um, remember, it's very bad to be not good. All right, well, just to let everyone know how we run things, I had no idea what they were just doing. So I'm glad it turned out well. Although probably it's going to overshadow the 40-second trailer I have to show now. Thanks a lot, guys. Well, I hate that he's successful and I'm not. All right, so what I have for you next is the trailer for episode four of Project 7. The trailer itself is very short, so I apologize for that. Like I said, it's only 40 seconds, but we tried to pack as much in there as we could. So, without further ado... Some dickhead named Deathface stole all of my gaming powers. We're here to get them and get that. Grandma? Is that you? I'll be giving more information on my channel, DSP Gaming, on officially when we will be releasing it. But I can tell you this, it's going to be by the end of June. And it looks like what we're going to be doing is taking a little hiatus for a couple months. It looks like we may start filming episode 5 of Project 7 in probably September, I would say. That was a lie. You know what? This next episode, we're going to be real serious about it. We're going to try to buckle down and do something really nice for everyone. So, that's where the series is going. That was a lie. Shut up. That's what we have in the works for Project 7. But take a look at my video views. 175 million views in two years. Some people have channels on YouTube for five, six years, and they can't get that. I think it really speaks for itself that my style of uploading so many videos that it floods their inbox on YouTube is something that people want to see. Because I've been partnered with Machinima for about a year and a half now, so when I do reviews, 
I have to kiss ass. I have to say, oh, this game is great because my, my parent company is telling me to. I have to lie and say that Halo is the best game on the planet so that I can get their next review copy when the next version of the game comes out. You know, I feel like I'm an expert in any genre of game besides maybe fighting games. And I think the views have reflected that the people have spoken and said, yeah, that's what we want. We don't want the fluff anymore. So that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, first of all, I want to thank everyone for coming out to this panel. I mean, the room's almost full. This is amazing. Uh, I did not expect this many people to come out. So thank you so much, everyone, for, for coming out and, and attending. Um, I do want to let everyone know that when this panel ends, from 3 to 4 p.m., we are going straight back to our booth over in the, the uh, marketplace, and I'm doing an autograph session, all of us. So anything that you have that you want signed, I don't care what it is, I'll sign it. You probably shouldn't have said that, but... Uh, i got something for you to sign. <laughs> uh, what I'd like to do now is open up the floor to Q&A. Uh, anything that you guys would like to ask us. And uh, yeah, so let's go. Uh, anyone have a question? Um, Street Fighter is the best series for fighting games. Um, I'm a thinker and a creative person. What I would probably like to do is, let's just make a game that's going to make the most money ever. Handily, do you have an answer? I don't even know if you watch sports. Uh, my dad watches sports. People tackle each other, they fall in the mud, they get concussions. And they get Alzheimer's when they're old, so I can't really follow it. Oh. <sighs> I tossed salads and pumped frozen yogurt for five years of my life. <laughs> It's kind of an insulting question, sir. I don't come into your home and, to, and ask you to remove your pants, do I? I will find a way over the border. I will, I will force you to remove all of your clothing. <laughs> Anyone have another question that won't lead to someone getting naked? <laughs> Pretty much one of the biggest oddball characters in all of Street Fighter. The character that, when I played Street Fighter 2, seemed completely out of place. But because of that was the reason he was the first character I ever played in Street Fighter 2, and that character is Blanca. Do you have an answer for your favorite Street Fighter character? I never played a Street Fighter game. <gasps> I don't really like Street Fighter. I don't like the graphical art. I don't like that stuff. I agree. All right, so I'm taking the mic back. Thank you, everyone, for attending the panel. Thank you very much. Thank you all very much. Love to see you. Like I said, we'll be doing an autograph session 3 to 4 p.m. over at our booth. We're heading over there right now, so if anyone wants to, you know, meet and greet, head over there. Thanks a lot. Oh, I threw Nukem in the game. Nukem sucks. I don't want him. Hey, this is not a serious game. So...